Oh, you can't beat the smell of fresh rubber. Black chili at its finest. Welcome back. So today we're going to get a look at Summer Continental's new tyre range. Um, look at the tread patterns, look at the sidewalls, the casings, uh, look at the, the actual compounds and uh, then we'll get them out of the trail and see how they perform. So let's have a look here now. So we have the option of a Zynat Hall, which is a hard pack. Uh, we have the Cryptotol, which comes in front and rear. I only have the rears here, which is a mixed condition tyre. The Argotol, which is for loose conditions. And then there's a Hydrotol, which I don't have on the uh, table here. Um, that's for more uh, mud, wet conditions. There are three compounds. There is uh, Super Soft, Soft and Endurance. There's three styles. There's downhill, enduro, and trail. And there's the casing options, which is downhill, enduro, and trail. So for the way you can decipher which one you want, they've come up with this uh, little chart on the back of the boxes. Now, so you have here, here are your combinations of your, your tread patterns here, and the terrain they do. Your compound, your riding style, and your casing. So for example, if you've got the trail casing, you'll have one star or one hexagon filled in Enduro 2, Downhill 3, so Trail is all directions, Enduro up and down, of course the Downhill down, and then you have your compounds here, which is the Endurance compound is blank, the Soft compound will have two put in, and then the Downhill will be Super Soft, well I suppose you could use the Soft as well if you want to Downhill, but Downhill, uh, Super Soft is all filled in in black there. So on the back of each box it'll have one of those. Now, if you get the box, it's in the shelf and look like this, you'll see this is the for downhill riding, it's a soft compound and it's a downhill casing, so um, fairly straightforward. Or there's an even easier way, really, you need to turn it to the side. <laughs> and this is Argotol, downhill, soft, black, black, foldable skin. It'll tell you straight off the bat like that, 29.24. So in theory, you should be able to take any one of these designs and mix and match with a, with a, a rubber type and a casing type. So any one of the patterns, should I say. So you could get the Argotol in a uh, super soft compound with the trail casing, in theory. That's what they say. So it's, it does say four names, five patterns, infinite in, uh, infinite possibilities. Um, yeah, well, that would be nice if you could, but uh, it'd be hard to see, if I'm being honest, uh, getting a hard pack endurance um, compound and mixing it with a downhill casing. So let's take a look at the tread patterns themselves. Now, we'll start off with the Argotol. The Argotol is the loose conditions kind of tire. So this is quite aggressive. It's a little bit like, it's a little bit like a um, shorty in, in, in a way. Quite firm side knobs there. So they'll actually dig in quite well. I think more mechanical grip than anything else on those guys. Um, nice looking tire. The Cryptotol, like I said, this is only the rear that I have at the moment, but um, you can see the tread pattern there. There's good braking in that. Um, nice tall side knobs. Um, the front, from what I can see, um, is a bit like, um, how do I say, the pattern is very very similar to an Asagai. There and there around the boats. Now, look at that. I don't have one at the moment, but I have them on the way in. So yeah, but that looks a good tire. Uh, I think that'll work really well on the back. Um, and then we have the Zynatol, which is also another good looking tyre. This is the hard pack one. Um, you can run this back and front. It doesn't specify if it's a front or a rear. So um, that's the patterns. And then we have, of course, the Hydrotol, which is more of a spike, wet spike, which I don't have at, at the moment. Now let's have a look at the casing of the tyre. Now this is the trail version. So as you can see, it's quite flexy. There's the same throughout the whole sidewall, throughout the whole, slightly thicker in the centre there, like a bit lighter on the sidewalls there. Um, very similar feel to um, an EXO case. Um, typical trail kind of, and maybe light enduro uh, carcass there. Onto the enduro. Now this is slightly different. This is slightly heftier in the centre and the sidewall. Uh, down here, so you've got a slightly more rubber, or more case, uh, slightly more layers, but then you get down to the side here, near the bead, you've got the apex protection, as you can see, as I can fold it, it's quite firm there, so that actually gives you good puncture prote uh, pinch protection, uh, you know, hitting rock strikes and stuff like that, um, but generally, yeah, a bit of a tougher tyre all around. 
um, not quite double down, um, not quite there, double down is a little bit firmer than that, especially on the sides, but um, not quite there, but still a tough old tyre. And then you're onto the downhill uh, casing, which is fairly firm all round. This would, for me, it's in between, nearly in between a downhill casing and a double down um, in Maxxis, but also still has that apex protection along the sidewalls. Uh, so we, again, prevent pinch punctures. Nice casings. Right, onto the compounds. Now, a bit like the car park test, where you take your bike out and bounce it around to see if it feels good. We usually get the thumb on and give them an old squeeze to see how soft the compound feels. I don't know why, it's just the way we do it. Um, onto this is the endurance compound. This is the soft and this is the super soft. So the kind of feel and the difference between them, um, if I'm being honest, the actual firmness of the block feels very similar in all of them. Um, there's no kind of like, uh, let's see, the dual compound on the Maxxis is quite firm and then you go to the, the uh, Max Grip and it's very squidgy, very soft, very slow rebound rubber. These feel very similar, if I'm being honest. Uh, each compound feels uh, fairly similar. A little softer as you go up, but the difference being mostly is how tacky the rubber is. This is very smooth and sort of like you can, you can see the squeak of my finger going onto the soft. It's, it's a little stickier feeling, a little softer on the, on the knobs, but the super soft, you can actually, my finger's actually sticking to it, like you can actually hear the rubber is very tacky. It's very tacky indeed. Um, but again, still quite firm. It's still quite a firm feel. Um, so mechanical grip would be phenomenal. And if that stickiness actually translates across the roots and rocks, then yeah, you're in for a, for a real treat with these. So let's have a quick look at the weights. Now using the trail Argatol here first. Sort of about 1046, so it's not a bad weight. Uh, and then we'll do the downhill Argatol because it's the same tread pattern. Bit of a beast of a thing. It's a 1275, so yeah, only 235 grams heavier. And just to compare, because I don't have an Enduro Argatol, but I'll use the Cryptotol Enduro casing. Um, could be a tad heavier because it's slightly bigger blocks, but um, wouldn't be much in the difference, I don't suppose. But it gives us a ballpark. And that's coming in at like 11.64. So um, yeah, about in between. So it's kind of what you'd expect really, and, and would hope for. Um, obviously, obviously the uh, lighter the tire, the easier it is to roll and pedal. Um, but you know, the lighter the tire you go, the less security you have. If, if you are just riding trails, then the trail casing is perfect. Uh, you don't really need much more than that. Um, even light enduro, like I say, but if you, if you are downhilling or hard enduro, then you want to go for either of the downhill or the enduro case, because you know, you're hitting rocks a lot, lot harder than you would normally be on a normal day out. And you want that extra security, not only for the tire, but also for your rim as well. Well, that's a quick rundown of the carcasses, the compound and the patterns. So um, for the test, for the enduro bike, my normal enduro bike, I'll be using the Argatol in the um, endurance casing, the trail casing with the endurance compound, because that's the only one I could actually get. They don't actually have the soft one out yet at the moment. And I'll also be using the Cryptotol Enduro uh, casing soft compound on the rear. Um, strange combo you might think, but like I say, the only reason I'm using the Argatol uh, in the trail is because it's the only one I can actually get. So we'll see how that goes. Without further ado, let's just crack on and get it done. As soon as you hit the trails, these tires really, really shine. Low rolling resistance and the stiff side knobs really bite and hold your line on the off-camera sections, really installing some great confidence. Braking traction is also really, really good in both wet and dry. The ability to run these tires at low pressures is brilliant. I was down to 14 psi and 12 in the front of this, this clip here, as you can see. Now, the apex protection did a massively good job of not dinging the rim. As you can see there, you can see the tire folding over, but I didn't actually feel it through the rim, which is, which is a, a surprise. So yeah, definitely a plus. In the wet, they hook up just as well as they do in the dry. Those tall side knobs, 
biting deep mechanical grip coming through rooty rocky wet sections like this there's no squirm there's no uneasy feeling they just keeping a straight line really really well when they do finally let go it's very predictable and easy to control no dramas no no nightmares mud clearance is really really good uh, the back doesn't clear obviously as, as much as the front because of the the design of the treads um, but the front is just brilliant I mean there's you were riding some real horrible dirty sticky claggy peaty mud and um, yeah cleared really 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 well very impressed as for the general whole feel of the tire I'm very happy with them um, they won't be coming off my bike that's it they're staying on Even even with the uh, the endurance compound on the front, it's it's really good. I'm, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. I mean, totally honest, I thought it was going to be a few problems. It's brilliant through wet rocks, roots. Now, really slimy rocks. It does get a little bit out of its out of its depth, but in general, yeah, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I would highly recommend these tires. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It will help us get a few more of these videos done. I do enjoy doing these videos, if I'm being honest with you. So. Uh, all you guys liking and subscribing is just pushing me forward to do more. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, and we'll talk to you in my next one. Cheers.